Yo, what's up guys, welcome back again to another Clash Royale video and this video is probably one of the craziest videos I've ever uploaded. For real, Clash Royale spent over 300 fucking thousand dollars on a tournament. And you'll be like, that's impossible Harry, you're crazy, go kill yourself. But let me analyze everything. So earlier today in Shanghai, China, there was a Clash Royale tournament. So if you did watch the live stream, Clash Royale had even served the live stream over here inside Clash Royale, as you can see, Shanghai Tournament 2016, from 100,000 players to the final eight, watch the players duel for glory. So that was a live stream on Twitch, but that was a considerably small live stream. So to make it clear for you guys, about two weeks ago, 100 tournaments that hold 1,000 people each were created. If you do not know, that specific tournament costs 250,000 gems, which is nearly about 2,000 US dollars. And if you multiply that by 100, because there were 100 tournaments of those, it is close to 200 freaking thousand US dollars. Clash Royale among with a big uh, family clan organized all those tournaments together. I don't think that they <laughs> actually uh, wasted on their own $200,000 Clash Royale must have provided those gems. I'm not sure, I don't know, but that's my prediction. So 100,000 people participated in the first phase of the tournament. So out of those 100,000 people, only 500 qualified and I believe those 500 in Shanghai today battled and uh, it went to the top 8. So the top 8 was live streamed by Orange Juice in English, by Alvaro845 in Spanish. It was a pretty dope live stream. I watched a big part of it because they were the top eight out of 100,000 people. Like, for real, they were amazing. But that's not the craziest thing. Sit tight on your seat because the number one player, the guy that won the entire 100,000 player tournament, won over 54 freaking thousand US dollars. Can you even imagine that? You can even buy a freaking house with all that money, I don't know. The second player got $26,000 and the third and fourth player actually got some money, I think like 15,000 US dollars. So in total, over $300,000 were spent plus uh, all the money that Clash Royale spent to organize the whole tournament, like um, the venue, all the lights, the people, the security, all that stuff must have costed way over $300,000. It's even hard to imagine, like that is a crazy amount of money just for organizing the tournament. It was the biggest Clash Royale tournament that has been organized until today. So that is for the crazy ass news about the tournament. Now, while I was watching the tournament, I saw a guy using this deck. And I said, why not make it? I do have all the cards, the giant, the musketeer, the mini P.E.K.K.A., the ice wizard, the guards, the zap, the poison, the collector. Why not make it? Try it out and see how it does. So let's go out in Arena 7 and try it out. All right, so here we go against Veronica, okay. Um, she, I think, yeah, it's a female name. So uh, she's a level nine. Okay, let's drop a collector over there. Um, what deck does he or she, I don't care, <laughs> have? So he's gonna drop a wall breaker, a bomber. Sorry, I keep calling that thing a wall breaker from Class of Clans. Like, <laughs> um, so uh, I will drop those guards. Yeah, they're gonna take care of that uh, stupid, stupid Pekka. Um, so I'm gonna drop the giant over that musketeer. There we go. Among with uh, mini Pekka. Let's see. Um, because he did waste a huge amount of elixir on that uh, P.E.K.K.A. and he doesn't even have a collector, so it's looking good for me. Uh, come on, mini P.E.K.K.A., get the tower, get the tower, one more hit, one more hit. No! Oh, got the tower, perfect! And his barbarians are getting poisoned. Perfect. So I'm gonna drop a nice wizard over there. Nice. Uh, so he's gonna get some hits from his from my tower. Okay, not a big problem. Got it down to sixteen hundred health, but it's looking very very good for me. All right. Um, so uh, I will drop a collector over there. Boom. 
Um, is he gonna spend... Oh, he's gonna rocket my collector? What a pesky move. Alright, he did rocket my collector. I cannot believe it. Like, people, like, fireball collectors and it's stupid, but rocketing collectors? Dude, get alive. <laughs> do not rocket collectors, kids. Like, do not uh, rocket collectors. So, uh, he does have a, a pack again. I'm gonna take a, care of that with my guards. That Ice Wizard is being retarded. Like, what's that? He had a seizure. Look at him. What the hell is that? So, I need to be careful because he does have... Um, a rocket and that's not good <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna defend very very well um, against uh, his troops and not let him get a single tower so he is pushing with his pekkas okay so I'm gonna drop a giant over there and he does have a wall break a bomber sorry <laughs> I keep calling that thing a wall breaker I'm sorry uh, so uh, uh, potion spell down. I'm gonna zap that and drop the collector the sorry the guards as well Come on. He's pushing so hard No, I'm not gonna let him get the, cr the crown Poison, on. poison spell down. Come on. No, you're not gonna get it zap boom. Come on. Yes. There we go I won Perfect like look at my tower. It's down to 100 140 one health such a close rate so this is one of the decks that was used in that tournament if you want to try it out make sure you do thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy it make sure you drop a like down below subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and see ya in the next one to my mama, I'm a